Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Frey, and I'm bringing you a gun game here on Express on Black Ops 2 for the Nintendo Wii U. Now, this game was kind of difficult to find. I actually had to wait for 10 minutes to find this game. Now, I know I'm not the only one who's wanting to play this game, and I just gotta say, you just gotta wait. That's as simple as that. I had to wait for about two minutes before the lobby filled up, and then for some reason, people left. Once the game was about to start, people left. Okay, so uh, again, I just had to wait for like about 10 minutes, and then people finally joined in, and we finally got this game going. And basically, yeah, it was great fun. This is my first gameplay actually where I used the pro controller too. So I do fumble a lot with the controller, uh, with the controller and the buttons and everything, uh, as you probably will see. And basically, yeah, gun game is just like any other gun game on any other console. It's really, really fun, and it's definitely something you guys should try out if you can find a lobby. It's like I, like I said before, all you gotta do is find a lobby, or, or don't find a lobby. Maybe there's one person, or maybe you're the host. Wait there. It'll take you probably less than 10 minutes. I don't know why they left when it was about to start, but okay. So yeah, it, it wouldn't take you that long. And again, if you can't find anyone, if people aren't joining, go ahead and invite everyone in your player history. Go ahead and invite people on your friends list and have them invite people on their friends list. And that's just a great way to get a, a whole lobby quickly. Uh, obviously though, this in this game particularly, I didn't uh, invite anyone. I just let the game go by. The reason I didn't invite anyone was because I couldn't, and I was wondering why I couldn't. And that was because I actually set my party privacy to closed. So if you want to be able to invite people, you got to set your private uh, your party privacy to open so you can actually start inviting people while you're in the lobby. I didn't figure this out until I played Search and Destroy, which I'll show, show you guys later. Uh, but yeah, this was a pretty decently fast-paced game. Again, I was terrified about getting knifed because of the fact that I am terrible at knifing. I'm playing on tactical on the pro controller so uh, knifing isn't precise with that and especially with the d-pad being under the analog stick it's really it's kind of tricky i don't know about you guys who use a pro controller but i keep finding myself pressing x instead of b or i mean a instead of b so yeah it takes a bit of getting used to i'm still getting used to it obviously but uh it's definitely a very good controller. I do try to drop shot here because I am using tactical and I and I tr and of course I'm using it because I want to drop shot. But I, what I recommend, what uh, what I personally didn't use for some reason, but I, what I do recommend is that if you guys are playing any party games that involve knifing and being deranged by knifing, I do suggest you use a default layout for your pro controller like that. You can knife a lot more easy and casually than uh, just fumbling with the controller trying to find where uh, X is. So that's per personally what I recommend, especially because when, when you leave your uh, thumb off the analog controller to go press X, you can't aim anymore. So that messes you up a lot. So I, again, I do recommend using default class uh, default layout for the buttons. It'll help you immensely, trust me. And unfortunately, I didn't win this game. It was a really close tie. I actually took on a lead for a while, but a, the crossbow really messed me up. I was, I wasn't very good with the crossbow. Um, I'm still getting used to the sensitivity again. Uh, what sensitivity do you guys use? I would love to hear what you what sensitivity you guys use personally on the pro controller. I'm currently stumbling around 15 to 25. I'm not sure around that range, trying to figure out which one is better. I mean, 25, it's kind of better. But I also like it uh, when it's like around 15, you know. Anywhere between that is basically where I'm just messing around to around to find the right sensitivity for me. So it would really help me if you guys tell me uh, in the comment section below what sensitivity you use. And, you know, whether it's uh, CCP or the Pro Controller, what sensitivity do you use? Do you use uh, that look acceleration thing enabled or do you have it disabled? I personally have it disabled because I feel like if I have it enabled, it makes it a lot slower. And... I would also love to hear, uh, you know, what sensitivities are you used to be playing on? I'm used to playing on really high sensitivities with uh, class, uh, any analog controller, and with the Wii Remote itself, I, I'm used to playing it with a moderately low sensitivity. So I would love to hear what you guys have uh, to say about that, because frankly, it would help me a lot, and you know, anyone else who has uh, trouble finding their right sensitivity could probably use your help as well. And as always, I really would appreciate it. Because I really would like to step up my game. I really had a lot of trouble with the crossbow, as you look, as you can see, until I finally hit that guy with the crossbow. But it was really, really troublesome, extremely troublesome. But uh, yeah, I still managed to come out second. We 
somehow came out with the same points in the lobby, which I don't know how that happened, but yeah, it was a pretty good game, and I really liked it. And again, if you guys want a fine gun game, it's as simple as waiting. Just if you, if you want to find any kind of game, just wait there. There's about a thousand people on Black Ops 2 for the Wii U right now. So out of all the party games and all the other modes, all the other play playlists, most people are about 600, 700 people are on Team Deathmatch. The reason for that is because, well, I assume is because everyone is already already knows that Team Deathmatch is the one that has all the players, and that's the most likely the best way to find the quickest and best connection game. By the way, another thing I recommend if you want to find a quick uh, game at all is to actually make your uh, when you go to look for a playlist, set set it to find any game, not just normal or or best any game like that you find probably a crappy game but at least you find it on that particular mode anyways that's just a couple tips i have on finding games anyways i hope you enjoyed unfortunately i did lose but uh till next time guys i'm out